If you want to go solar and you don't have the possibility of net metering, do not worry, there is a concept called zero export which is explained in this video. The concept of zero export in a solar on-grid system. Not everyone gets the privilege of installing a net meter that is the bi-directional meter in a solar on-grid system to measure how much energy is actually given to the grid and you get a feed-in tariff for it. So that's where the concept of zero export is involved. Zero export is also termed as export cutoff in some regions. So do not get confused. Export cutoff, zero export are all meaning the same. And here we call it as the zero export in a solar on-grid system. I have drawn a simple uh, SLD of a normal on-grid system where power from the solar panel is converted into a usable alternative power by the solar inverter. First fed to the loads and the excess is then fed into your grid. And here is where your electricity department fixes a meter to measure how much energy is taken in and how much energy is taken out. And this is the grid. So how do you do a zero export? That is, how do you make your inverter generate only for your load? You make your inverter generate only for your load and you don't export anything into the grid. This is simple. To make your inverter generate only to the load, you will have to make the inverter know if there is any power getting into the grid. So you install a bi-directional meter at this position. The position is very important. You will have to install the bi-directional meter compatible to your uh, inverter right after the meter installed by the electricity department. And a small signal from the bi-directional meter is then taken to the inverter via a communication cable. You will have to check with your inverter manufacturer if the inverter is compatible for zero export. Otherwise, this is not going to happen. So inverter takes the feedback from the energy meter, senses that there is some export happening and it reduces its generation. How the inverter does it is inverter companies use different tricks to do this and one common trick is to reduce the maximum power point. Consider a situation when there is no load but the sun is shining bright. In this case you don't want the power generated to go into your grid. So the energy meter fitted here is going to give a information to the inverter that there is no load in the building and the power is being exported into the grid. Taking that feedback, the inverter reduces its maximum power point or even some inverters have the possibility of shutting down the generation. And this is how the inverter generates only enough power for your load, stopping the excess power from getting into the grid. And this is the concept of zero export.